Hey guys, Comatose from the uh, Game Facts board. I'm going to be doing a video playthrough of the new Nazi zombie mode, Shinonuma. Um, just kind of showing what strategy I decided to take and to actually prove that you can get past round 30 without glitching. Um, it's a really simple strategy. Rinse and repeat. Um, it all it all kind of hinges on getting Juggernaut and Speed Cola ASAP as, I mean, most multiplayer games go. So, uh, see how it goes. What a lot of people don't know about, uh, Nazi Zombies is that difficulty changes depending on the amount of players you have per match so single player will be the easiest and it'll be very likely that you can push past 30 rounds or you know whatever I usually like to start off with the Arasaka just for fun but uh, keep in mind that eventually it does get boring because I'm pretty much hanging out in the same area um, a good defensive area I found because the zombies will come straight at me more or less The first couple rounds, I like to kind of let them float in through the room. Um, it allows for max ammo drops, uh, nukes, insta kills. But it's all, you know, again, it's all based on preference. And actually, I like to open the gate as soon as possible, um, if I have the points, just so I can spend it on Bettys and start setting them up everywhere as a defensive strategy. Now in the main house, this point is what I found to be the most helpful. The room's, this part at least, is uh, more so circular. It's really easy to run around. What I've found that um, where, usually where I make my stand is right about here. Because I can see my two open spots. Especially, I try at all costs not to open the doctor's quarters. Um, I can see these two spots where the zombies will flood in. And if anything, there's a window for them to also flood in through. Um, it's really easy to take them all out as they're running at me and if anything I like to kind of backtrack and uh, hopefully you know there's not a bunch of zombies flooding in through here I like to make a mad dash out here and this the calm room is usually the first room I like to open it's all boarded if you know the path there's not really a swamp you have to trudge through it's real easy so Betty Betty
also the uh, Thompson becomes my favorite weapon. Cheap, you know, decent damage, ammo, clip counts, stuff like that. Also, um, since I'll probably be running the zombies in circles around me, a great thing with these Bettys is that when round 5 or 6 or whenever the Hellhounds do want to show up, um, they're going to basically run into that and, you know, one per kill. I actually realize the uh, video is probably going to be a bit boring without the volume, so let's turn the volume on. This thing's empty! Need ammo! As you can see, I've already set up about four Bettys. Pretty good for a place to fall back into. Ready to die, freak bags. Oh. Do that again, I'll bite your back, freak sack! Just to try and speed things up, I'm gonna keep hitting bombs. The fucking boom, freak bags! And apparently. It's not time yet for the dogs.